and stabbed and killed outside a local sub shop. And now her husband is on trial for murder. Good evening, afternoon on this Monday. I'm Meredith McDonough. And I'm Brett Conley. 44 year old Dwayne White faces the possibility of the death penalty if convicted. West News Dave McDaniel joining us live from how the death penalty dominated the jury selection today. Dave. Well, it absolutely did, Brett. You know, anytime you talk about the death penalty, it is always going to prompt some very spirited debate. You have a, a certain number of people who believe that it is perfectly appropriate punishment, depending on the case that they are hearing, and others believe that it should not be handed down ever, no matter what. That's exactly why, because it's a possibility in this case, it was topic number one today. 44 year old Dwayne White is standing trial for first degree murder, accused of slashing 42 year old Sarah Rucker, his estranged wife, to death in a Seminole County parking lot in August 2011. Whether it be life or the imposition of the death penalty, would you be able to do that? Because the state is seeking the death penalty, potential jurors were asked in detail what they think of that possible punishment. You need to be fair and impartial on the death penalty? The potential jurors were told Dwayne White has not been convicted of anything at this point. His trial is yet to start. Push me down and hit my head, but I'm fine. Once the trial does start, a 911 call from hours before Sarah Rucker's death will be played in court. She said an argument at her home in Deltona got physical. And Rucker said she was going to get the phone she claimed White took from her. I'm on call tonight and I'm, oh, I just need my phone. Three hours later, the local hospital worker was found stabbed, slashed, her body in a sub shop parking lot at 434 and I-4 in Longwood. The state says scientific evidence at that scene points to White. If convicted, the state does plan to ask for death, which is why possible jurors are being asked if they can be fair on that issue. Okay. And also because this is a death penalty case, they need 12 total jurors. Normally they will also add a couple of alternates for a total of 14. The goal is to have that panel in place by the end of business today, and they expect to have opening statements sometime tomorrow morning. Reporting live at the Seminole County Courthouse, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.